Hi, welcome back. Another important session. Let's try to concentrate today how to move certain material from one system to another system by using IDOC. Okay. If you send, uh, this is more frequent. Even uh, I have seen my uh, real time scenarios. One of my system is supposed to receive certain material from outside SAP system to my current retail system. Okay, sometimes SAP to SAP system, SAP to non-SAP system, and how oh, this process won't work. And uh, let me try to explain you. This is restricted from SAP to SAP. So BD64 is a transaction where you are supposed to create ALE distribution model. So let's try to see if it is already set up, how it works. You need not, being a functional consultant, you need not set up all these things. It will be taken care. If they really want it for a material structure, they ask the what kind of uh, you know fields it's supposed to send to create a material master, what and tabs. Okay. So the transaction code is BD10. Let's see on uh, our uh, uh, SAP system, how we can able to do this one. Okay. So BD10, because certain times I got a request like, you know, so they're supposed to send a certain order from their hybrid system to our system or else any SAP B1 system to our system, such a case, the material is not available in ACC. Okay, or else in ECC to other systems, such a cases, you should supposed to use this transaction. Basically, like, you know, if they have created any material that's supposed to be available in our system or so far that they will set up um, BD64. Okay, now if you look at here, give a material and give, this is basically, you know, if it is class is there, you can give the class. But most of the times, what we have to do is, you give the material and you give, what I would say, uh, let's take an example. So let's give this material. If you want to run, it will go to, if you don't give logical system, how many logical systems is it get connected through? Yearly it will go. If you if you'd like to send full material, certain time server group will be there. Let's give a try with our uh, logical system, what we have created. If, we, if we setup is there, it will go. Otherwise it will run uh, normally. See, one master IDOC setup message type, Matmos, it is created. If you see zero communication, that means we didn't make any setup for this. Let's try to run. Probably they might set up the setup for their logical systems. So let's try to execute this now. Now, if you run this, one master IDOC setup message type matmas matmas is for material see now 32 communication IDOC generated for message type matmas okay that means 32 setups available but in real time you will have on a dedicated system where you will mention the logical system actually let's see the help okay the ALE layer has generated 32 communication what is that IDOCs. Let me show you this one. Okay. The ALE layer has generated 32 communication IDOCs for message type MATMAS. That means 34, 32 different systems it went. Okay. So let me try to go back and show you. This is how you can able to transfer this one. Okay. So if you know a logical system, then you have to mention. But this is very specific when it comes to real time. You have to give the system where you can able to concentrate it. Let's try to check how many systems are there. So 376 entries are there. I don't want to check which one is correct one. Okay. So let me try to check if any random system it is available. We give it a try. So you look at this, this is a hybrid system communication. Let's give this. Okay. This system, it is going, someone has created this logical system sales. You might must like this. You have to give the single system actually. Nothing else. So it is transferred. Now let's go to BD11. So this is for get material. Okay. To get a, for message type, what is the material is supposed to get it? So let's give this 
let's give it a run and uh, this is matmas okay see for receiving this so like that you know you, you can uh, able to run for your matmas in the similar way you can able to run for your customer also that uh, we're going to see um, in another few minutes or else next video if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe this is my udemy channel for uh, further learning if you see this this course 93 hours and this is sap s4 hana simple logistics another 9 hours and if you would like to get you know strong in sap sd but to do all my courses and if you want it to be specifically real time you already trained then then you try this course getting master to write functional specification it is 7.5 hours in future it will be updated okay this is one course i will recommend and second one is recently i have done detailed course for idocs you better try this course okay see this is new course someone has given rating you don't bother about this okay so as well means he is as well everywhere don't worry okay he they, they cannot grow in their life they wanted to point out others okay so let it let's try real time idoc training for sap consultants with business you try this if you are from sap side sd side or mm side specifically it is useful but finance side i haven't done anything in future let's see and uh, mm and sd it is closely working but any consultant uh, they will get some idea how the idoc will be generated okay you can try this that's it from mine thank you very much have a great day Bye.